Okay, we thank God for those uh, praises. And uh, the time for us to listen to the word of God has come. And I hope also as we listen to the word, uh, God will abundantly, uh, especially work in our hearts. So this time, let us uh, put our hands together as we invite our senior pastor. Good morning, everyone. Yes, uh, let us open to the book of Genesis, chapter 40. Genesis, chapter 40. Starting from verse 1. Genesis, chapter 40. Verse 1. Na tutanzia mustari wa kwanza. It came to pass after these things and that and the butler and the baker of the king of uh, Egypt offended their lord, the king of Egypt. Ikawa bada mambo hayo mnyoshaji wa mfano wa misri na mwokaji wake wakamkosa wanawawo mfano wa misri. And Pharaoh was angry with his uh, two officers, and the chief butler and the chief baker. And so he put them in custody uh, in the house of uh, the captain of the guard in the prison and the place uh, where Joseph was confined. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he served them, and so they were in custody for a while. And then the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison, had a dream, and both of them, each man's dream in one night, and each man's dream with its own interpretation. And Joseph came into them in the morning and looked at them and saw that they were sad. So he asked the Pharaoh's officers who were with him in the custody of his Lord's house, saying, why do you look so sad today? Yusuf akawajia subuhi akawaona wamefadhaika akauliza hao makida wa farao waliokuwa pamoja naye katika kifungo nyumbani mwa bwana wake akisema mbona nyuso zenu zimekunjamana leo. And they said to him we each have uh, had a dream and there is no interpreter of it. And so Joseph said to them do not interpretations belong to God. Tell them to me, please. And then the chief of Butler told his dream unto Joseph and said to him, Behold, in my dream uh, a vine was before me. Ya mnyoshaji mkuu akamhadithia Yusuf ndoto yake akamwambia katika ndoto yangu nimeota and in the vine were three branches, so it was as though it budded, its blossoms shot forth, and its clusters brought forth ripe grapes. And then Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said to him, and this is the interpretation of it, and the three branches are three days. And now within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your place, and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the former manner 
when you were his butler. Baada siku tatu farao atakinua kichwa chako atakurudisha katika kazi yako na utampa farao kikombe mkononi mwake kama desturi ya kwanza ulipokuwa mnyoshaji wake. But remember me when it is well with you and please show kindness to me make a mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of this house. Ilao nikumbuke mimi utakapopata mema ukanifanyie fadhili na kuomba ukanitaje kwa farao na kunitoa katika nyumba hii. And for indeed I was stolen away from the land of the Hebrews and also I have done nothing here and that they should put me into the dungeon. Kwa sababu hakika niliibiwa kutoka nchi ya Waebrania wala hapa sikutenda neno lolote hata niwe nitiwe gerezani. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good he said to Joseph I also was in my dream and there were three white baskets on my head. Na mkuu wa kaji alipoona kwamba hiyo tafsiri ya ni ya mema akamwambia Yusufu mimi kadhalika nilikuwa katika ndoto yangu na tazama ziko nyingo tatu za mikate myeupe juu ya kichwa changu In the uppermost basket uh, were all kinds of uh, baked goods for Pharaoh and the birds ate them out of the baskets on my head Na katika ungo wa juu mlikuwa na kila namna ya chakula kwa farao kazi za mwokaji ndege wa kavila katika ungo juu ya kichwa changu So Joseph answered and said this is the interpretation of it the three baskets are three days Wakajiba kasema tafsiri yake ndio hii nyungo tatu ni siku tatu Within three days Pharaoh will lift off your head from you and hang you on a tree and the birds I will eat your flesh from you. Baada siku tatu farao atakinua na kukondolea kichwa chako na kukutundika juu ya mti na ndege watakula nyama yako. Now it came to pass on the third day which was a Pharaoh's birthday and that he made a feast for all his servants and he uh, lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. Ikawa siku ya tatu siku ya kuzaliwa kwake farao akawafanyia karamu watumwa wake wote akakinua kichwa cha mkuu wa wanyoshaji na cha mkuu wa waokaji miongoni mwa watumwa wake. And then he restored the chief butler to his butlership again and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Akamrudisha mkuu wa wanyoshaji katika kazi yake ya kunyuesha Naye akampa farao kikombe mkononi mwake. But he hang and the chief a baker as Joseph had interpreted interpreted to to them. Bari akamtundika mkuu wa wakaji kama Yusufu alivyo watafsiria. Yet the chief of butler uh, did not remember Joseph but forgot him. Lakini huyo mkuu wa onyeshaji hakumkumbuka Yusufu alimsahau. Uh, I read long verses ni mestoma haya maandiko marefu today i would like to speak about the repentance ya leo ningetaka niongee kuhusu toba some people they say that in our church we don't repent ya watu wengine wanasema kwamba kanisani mwetu sisi hatutubu but uh, that is uh, very wrong lakini basi wazo hilo halifai kabisa yes uh, we know the interpret uh, we know the Repentance is something very important. Tunajua kwamba toba ni jambo la maana kabisa. When Pastor Park he had received salvation. Wakati mchungaji Park alipokea uokovu. And Pastor Park he had the accurate repentance. Alikuwa na toba halisi. And then he was able to receive salvation. Na hapo akaweza kupokea uokovu wake. So Pastor Park, mchungaji Park, he had an accurate repentance in his heart. Alikuwa na toba ya ukweli moyoni mwake. He realized that accurately and exactly through the word of the Bible what kind of a person that he is. Alijitambua yeye mwenyewe ni mtu aina gani kupitia Biblia. However when we receive salvation lakini sisi tunapopokea wokovu we did not have the accurate repentance in our heart hatukuwa na hiyo toba halisi ndani ya mioyo yetu just to hear the gospel ninasikia tu injili just to believe in the gospel naamini tu injili that's why as we now also live the spiritual life ndio sababu tunapoanza kuyaishi maisha ya rohoni sasa also spiritual life is not so easy wakati wa maisha ya rohoni hayakui rahisi why because our thoughts and the word of god is mixed in our heart kwa sababu mawazo yetu na 
neno la Mungu vinachangamana ndani ya mioyo yetu. Before I continue, kabla sijaendelea, I hope that you can also ask this question in your heart. Nataka muweze kujiuliza hili swali moyoni mwenu. Yes, I may have a received salvation. Na muenda nikawa nimepokea uokovu. But do I have the accurate repentance in my heart? Lakini je, nina toba halisi ndani ya moyo wangu? What is accurate repentance? Na hii toba halisi ni gani? Ask yourself that question. Do I even know what the accurate repentance is in my heart? What is the accurate repentance? Do I have the accurate repentance? If you have the accurate repentance, then you cannot follow your thought basi hutayafuata mawazo yako you cannot hutaweza follow your thought kufuata mawazo yako ever kamwe when i just say you cannot follow your thought naposema huwezi kufuata mawazo yako yeah i don't follow my thought ha naam usifuati mawazo yangu but when i put ever lakini nikisema kamwe hey hey how can you not follow your thought at all at all? Such kind of thought arises from our heart. I also had that thought arise from my heart. When Pastor Park was saying like this, of course, outside I cannot say it. But inside of my heart, I asked this question. Pastor Park. Then you also don't ever follow your thought. Je, wewe pia kamu uyafuati mawazo yako? Do you know why I come out? Je, mnajua ni kwa nini nimetokezea nje hapa? Do you know why I come out? Je, mnajua ni kwa nini nimetokezea hapa nje? Why? Ni kwa nini? Yesterday, ya siku ya jana, I get I gathered all overseas students. Niliwakusanya wanafunzi wote wa kutoka nchi za ngambo. They are seated in the front. Sasa wote wameketi hapa mbele. I asked them. Nikawauliza, "Do you remember what you heard last week?" Je, mnakumbuka neno gani mlisikia wiki jana? No one could answer. Hamna yote yule aliyeweza kunijibu. Brothers and sisters, what did I talk about last week? Ndugu na dada, Jumapili iliyopita niliongea kuhusu kitu gani? What did I talk about last week? Niliongea kuhusu kitu gani wiki jana? We have key to open some of you might say like this. Wengine miongoni mwenu naweza kusema namna hivi. Ah. Ah. Rayton if you just said that in your heart. Eh, ndio mkono wako kama umesema namna hivyo ndani ya moyo wako. Yes. Eh ndio. I realized. Nilitambua. Not many people are really listening. Si watu wengi ambao wanasikiliza kweli kweli. So Instead of just the one way preaching, badala tu ya kuhubiri moja kwa moja namna hivi, I thought let's have a conversation. Nilidhani ya kwamba acha tu tuweze kujadiliana kati yetu. And then, na also when I come out, ninapotokezea hapa, the cameraman cannot sleep. Ya hawa watu wa kamera hawezi wakasimulia. Number 3, if I come out, nikitokezea hivi, you cannot also fall asleep. Nami nanyi pia hamtasinzia. Already some people are running away. Kuna mmoja tayari knowing that I might ask a question. Usitoroke, usikulize swali. Everyone, is it okay? Jenny Sawa? Yes, I saw also many in Kenya, many pastors, they come out and then they shake their head. Yes, though I may not do that, but I will need to come and also have a conversation together with you. And so that even if we spend one hour, my point is, let's spend this time Properly. Everything is that true. What is the point of sitting here? The moment you go outside and then you are going to forget. Everything is that true. Okay, now let's come back to the main sermon. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Ask yourself a question. If your face seems like you're not asking yourself a question, I can come and ask you. Sindio. So make a face of asking question to yourself. <laughs> Do you know what that is, face? You have to move your eyebrows. 
Lazima tu utingise nyuso za macho yako. Okay, ask yourself a question. Hebu juuze mwenyewe swali. Did I really repent also in my heart? Je, nilitubu kweli moyoni mwangu? How do you know? Unajuaje? Whether you really repented in your heart or not. Kwamba umetubu kabisa moyoni mwako ama la. Pesta Park says. Mtungaji Park anasema namna hivi. If you have the true repentance. Kama kweli una toba ya ukweli. Then you cannot Follow your thoughts ever again. But many times, we follow our thoughts. Matthew, is that right? Matthew, is that right? Your name is good, but how come you are following your thoughts? Heaven, is that true? Raise your hand. Sometimes, I follow my thoughts. Sometimes, I follow the word. Okay. Sawa. I only follow the word of God. I follow the word of God. This church doesn't feel like a good news mission church. I only follow the word. I only follow my thoughts. I only follow my thoughts. I think you need to go somewhere warm, right? But Pastor Park said, if you have the accurate repentance, you can never follow your thoughts. Some of you might ask this question to yourself. Pastor, how can you only, only follow the word of God. Sometimes so you follow your thoughts. And sometimes so you follow your thoughts. How can we never follow our thoughts? Is that even possible? Sister, do you think it's possible? No. No. Everyone, do you think it's possible only to believe in the word? Yes. You think so? But how come you don't only fall, only believe in the word? You think you can only follow the like only believing in the word is possible. But how do you only believe in the word? Repentance. You don't have repentance. That's why. Hana tuba, hana tuba, and your sabab. Everyone, think about the time that when you receive salvation. Ebu fikiria wakati ule ulipopoke wakovu wako. When you receive salvation. Ulipopoke wakovu. In terms of salvation. Katika hiri swala kupoke wakovu. In terms of what? In terms of? Brother, did you receive salvation? Yes. You sure? Hakika. Yes. After receiving salvation, sometimes so you fall in your weaknesses, right? Yes. Your voice is getting smaller. <laughs> now, even when there is, you see your mistakes and your leggings, do you call yourself a sinner or righteous? A righteous. You sure? Hakika. Yes. So sometimes so you see your weaknesses. Even when you see weaknesses, so you call yourself a sinner or you call yourself righteous. A righteous. Everyone, do you also do that too? Do you also do the same way? You sure? Hakika. You see your weaknesses every day, right? Sometimes you also see your wife's weaknesses, right? And then sometimes you also see your weaknesses, right? Then, do you call yourself a sinner? Do you call yourself righteous? In terms of salvation, do you follow your thoughts ever again? 
Sometimes you become righteous. Why? Because the word says so, right? Sometimes you become a sinner. Do you follow like that? Do you follow like that? How come there's no response? Then I cannot help but ask. Do you follow like that? No. Sometimes you're a sinner, sometimes you're a righteous. Why? Because I'm luscious. You're righteous. But you still make mistakes, right? Right. And then you call yourself, forget what? I'm still luscious. Yes. Sometimes in terms of salvation, we have our thought arising from us. Because I made a mistake. Because I am like this. I may be a sinner. Maybe I can't go to heaven. Though such kind of thoughts may come and arise from you, Everyone, do you follow their thoughts? Do you follow their thoughts? You only follow what? Only the word of God, right? This tells you that you are perfected. That you are righteous. That you are made holy. Even in terms of salvation, as we live our life, after receiving salvation, no matter what kind of weaknesses and lackings that I may see, I don't follow my feelings in terms of salvation, I don't follow my thoughts. And in terms of salvation, I don't even follow my own feeling. And then, no matter what it may be, I say I am righteous. Everyone, if you are also the same way, please raise your hand. You're not sure? I'm not Akika. You're sure? Na Akika. Raise your hand properly like this. Inweni mkono wenyu vizuri namna hivi. Everyone, are you sure? Je, kila mtu mna Akika. Are you really righteous? Je, ninyi ni wenye haki kweli? No matter what your mistakes may be, are you holy? Haijalishi makosa yako ni aina gani bado wewe ni mtakatifu? No matter what kind of problem that you may you may see about yourself. Haijalishi ni shida gani juu yako umeiona mwenyewe? In terms of salvation. Katika ile swala la wokovu, you never call yourself I am a sinner. Everyone, is that true? In terms of salvation, you don't follow your thoughts. You only believe in the word of God. No matter what kind of shortcomings that you may have, and you see your shortcomings, and then you still don't call yourself a sinner. And then, Na tena, in terms of salvation, okovu, with this mouth, Na wako, you only confess that I am righteous. Kwamba tu, kwamba we ni haki. Everyone, is that true? Kila mtu. In terms of salvation, wokovu, you only believe in the word of God. Una tu neno la Mungu. In terms of salvation, wokovu, we only believe in the word of God. Neno la Mungu tu peke but yake. in terms of our spiritual lives, rohoni, we don't only believe in the word of God. Tu peke yake neno la Mungu. That's why, what is the accurate repentance? Sababu, toba ya ukweri, ni gani? Accurate repentance makes us to Turn away from ourselves. Then why do we have to turn away from ourselves? Because there is an exact image what God says in the Bible about 
myself. That's why if you have accurate repentance, it makes you to turn away from yourself. To be more exact, true repentance makes you to turn away from my thoughts and to only believe in the word of God. The word repentance, the dictionary definition is to realize your wrong and fix to realize that I was wrong and to fix. How do we realize that we are wrong? We can only realize how wrong we are only through the standard of God, which is the word of God. Some people, they say that, oh, I realize that I am so evil like this because of this, because of that, because of that mistake. But our actions and our deeds can never show us how evil we are like, up to the standard of God. That's why this repentance is very important. You need to accurately realize what kind of wrong person that you are. And then the dictionary definition says, Fix it. That's the full definition of repentance. How do we fix it? Fixing it only also comes through the word of God. How do we fix it? By faith. Not my deeds. That's why Pastor Park always says spiritual life starts from repentance and faith. Repentance is one thing. It comes together. That's why God he has sent John the Baptist, six months ahead of Jesus. So that he may bring the baptism of repentance. Because without accurate accurate repentance, you cannot also have true salvation. Let's open to the book of Matthew, chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3, Matthew mulango atatu, verse 1. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching the wilderness of Judea. And saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is for this is he who was spoken and by the prophet Isaiah saying the voice of one and carrying in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord make his path straight Yes, John the Baptist, he came. And then he came in verse 3, prepare the way of the Lord. And then, now, he rebuked the Pharisees and scribes of not repenting from his heart. And then in verse 7, reducing them, saying, and brutal vipers so who warned you to flee from the wrath to come. And so now he is there to prepare the way of Jesus for the preaching of the gospel. Yes, so what 
does it prepare for the way of Jesus? And for repentance. Without accurate repentance, you cannot also have the true salvation. Let us open to Luke chapter 3, verse 3. Luke chapter 3, verse 3. It says, but he went into all the region around the Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. It says, the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. It doesn't say that baptism is the one that washes away our sin. Yes, uh, baptism of a repentance is needed for the remission of sins. Even we have the song, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the Blood of Jesus. Yes, what washes away our sin is not the repentance. But what brings us to the blood of Jesus is the repentance. Baptism of repentance to, to give Remission of sin. It doesn't say like that. Yeah, he says for the remission of sins. Okay, let us open also Mark chapter one. Mark chapter one. Verse fifteen. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. No, akisema wakatu metimia na ufalma mungu umekaribia tubuni na kuyamini injiri. He says, repent. Hapo anasema tubuni. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repentance is not what brings the salvation. Repentance is the one that leads you to believe in the gospel. Repentance and faith comes in together. Once you have the accurate repentance, you can also believe in the gospel. Then, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Verse 19, it says, Repent therefore and be converted, and that your sins may be blotted out, and so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Ya tubuni basi murejeye ili dambi zenu zifutwe zipate kunya nyakati za kuburudishwa now when you look in verse 19 it says repent therefore and be converted repent and be con converted now with this word let us think about it a little bit with this two word Number one, repent. Number two, converted. In the word converted, there is this meaning also in Korean. To turn around. Everyone, do you understand what I mean? So when you have the repentance, you can Turn around. Repent and be. Repent and turn around. Repent, therefore, and be converted. Same meaning. 
But in Korean Bible, they use that word to turn around. Repent and turn around. Repent and be converted. So today I would like to talk about this. Number one, repentance. Number two, we turn around, we convert, which means there was a life that which I used to live. Evan, is that true? You have to have something that you have to turn around from. You have to turn around from what? That's what I would like to speak about. Number one, what is that accurate repentance that the Bible is talking about? Number two, the Bible tells us to turn around. Repent and turn around from what? What is to turn around? How do we turn around? Number one, let us talk about repentance. Yes, so repentance is to realize my true image, what kind of a person that we are. The true and the accurate repentance only comes from the Bible. This time there was a conference at... Uh, Tanzania. And so I went to Tanzania on Sunday evening. And then the uh, pastor from Korea, he came. Actually, I thought I was doing well. I thought there was no problem with my spiritual life. However, when I come and stand before the pastor, who received the heart of Pastor Park and came, and had fellowship together. I thought I was right. I thought I was correct. I thought I was fine. But when I stand before him, I realize what kind of a person that I am. I realize how wrong I am. In the same way, in order for us to have the uh, act repentance we need to have a standard what is that standard standard is the word of the God the Bible yes many people they realize their true image according to their own standard oh, I'm a sinner because of this I'm a sinner because of that Yes, my thoughts can never give us the true repentance. Many people think that sin is just stealing, committing adultery, and then hating other people. Yes, according to my thoughts, I think sin is such kind of things. So when I, when I uh, repent, and when I turn around, I try to uh, uh, I try to repent and turn around from such things. What are such things? From my wrongdoings. From my wrong behaviors. From my wrong actions. Yes, God is not seeing such as a sin. God sees such things as a fruit of sin. But many people because they don't know from the Bible what God he exactly sees as a sin. That's why people only try to turn away from their evil actions and evil behaviors and their mistakes. We need to set only the word as the accurate standard, as a sin. Then we need to come to the Bible to see exactly what he considers as a true sin. Keep uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13. 
Let's read it all together. Tusome sisi wote pamoja. Are you ready? Je mko tayari? Okay. Tuanze kwa maana watu wangu hawa wametenda maovu mawili. Wameniacha mimi nilie chemichemi ya maji ya uzima, wamejichimbia mabirika, mabirika ya vujayo yasiyoweza kuweka maji. Yes, the Bible says. Nam bila sema namna hivi. For my people have committed two evils. Kwa maana watu wangu hawa wametenda maovu mawili. When God he sees us. Mungu anapotutazama. He says he only sees two evil from us. Anasema kwamba anaona maovu mawili kutokana na kwetu. It seems like she must see many evil from us. Ni kana kwamba ataona mambo mengi maovu kwetu. The hatred in our hearts. Kama chuki moyoni mwetu. The covet in our hearts. Kama tamaa ndani ya mioyo yetu. Lost in our hearts. Kama tamaa ya kuzini ndani ya mioyo yetu. Yes, so when we look at such kind of things we feel like he must see many evils in our hearts. But then he doesn't say like that. He says only two as an evil. He says for my people have committed two evils. God he sees so two evils. What are they? He says they have forsaken me the fountain of living water. He says, for they have forsaken me. Never know when did we ever forsake him? We actually forsook him from our birth. When Adam and Eve forsook him, we also forsook him. This side is the side of God. Adam and Eve, yes, they were living together with God. But after receiving the heart of Satan, they forsook God and then went over onto the side of Satan. God, he expressed himself as the living waters. He says, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me. Who is me that he is talking about? He is describing himself as the fountain of living waters. This side, every which side? Can you point? Which side? Don't be confused, okay? Yes, this side. There is a fountain of living waters. At this place, at times, you feel thirsty. But being thirsty, everyone, can that be a problem? No. Why? Because there is a fountain. The fountain. Whereby the, uh, the water endlessly spring arise. Whenever you are thirsty, you can turn to the fountain and then drink the water that comes from the fountain of living water. Do you have any problems? Do you have any sadness? Do you have any difficulties? It can never be a problem. Right now, if you think if you believe if you say that you have a problem then it means you have already left away from the fountain of living waters as long as you are together with the fountain of living waters you have a problem you can run to the fountain you have any sadness you can run to the fountain of living waters 
How can you see that you have a problem and sadness? Unaposema How can you dare say that you are difficult? Unadhubutu kusema namna gani ya kwamba ukutana magumu? When you say that you are difficult? Unaposema kwamba una ugumu? It means I am away from the fountain of living waters. Unamaanisha kwamba nishaacha chemi chemi ya maji ya uzima. Even is that true? Je, wewe ni ukweli kila mtu? Is that true? Wewe ni ukweli. Who you may be here? Ingawaje unaweza kuko hapa? Who you may be here on the side of the fountain of living waters? Ingawaje unaweza kuko hapa kwa upande wa chemi chemi cha maji ya uzima? So you follow your thought and you believe in your thoughts. Sababu naamini mawazo yako na yafuata mawazo yako. You live as if you are away from the fountain of living waters. Unaishi kana kwamba ushaenda mbali na chemi chemi cha maji ya uzima. So physically you are here. Ingawaje kimwili uko hapa. You say I am difficult. I am sad. Why? Who you are here? You live as if you are away from the fountain of living waters. God says, For my people have committed two evils. Yes, they have forsaken me. The fountain of living waters. We have left away from the fountain of living waters. And then have gone where? Wakaenda wapi? Where there is no fountain of living waters. This is sin. What is the sin? Dambi ni nini? Living away from the fountain of living waters. Uacha kwenda mbali na chemi chemi cha maji ya uzima. When have we left him? Na tulimwacha Mungu wakati gani? We left him. Tulimwacha since our birth. Tangu kuzaliwa kwetu. Because Adam and Eve Wak have left him. Adam na Hawa walimwacha Mungu. We are all in Adam and Eve. Sisi wote tulikuwa ndani ya Adam na Hawa. When we left the fountain of living water. Ya tulipoacha chemichemi ya maji ya uzima. When Adam and Eve left the fountain of living water. Wakati Adam na Hawa waliacha chemichemi cha maji ya uzima. We also left the fountain of living water. Nasi pia tuliacha chemichemi cha maji ya uzima. As long as we are here. Wakati wote tuko hapa. When God sees us. Wakati Mungu anatuona. Everything he sees from us. Chochote kila nakiona kwetu. He say that we are only evil continually. Anasema kwamba ninyi ni waovu tu siku zote. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5. Kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa sita mstari ni wa tano. Let's read it all together. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5. Mwanzo mlango wa 6 mstari ni wa 5 na tuanze. Are you ready? Je muko tayari? Ready. Go. Tuanze. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Yes, Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 says, Kitabu cha mwanzo sita mstari wa tano mandiku anasema na mna hivi, Then the Lord saw, Na buwana akaona, Everyone who saw, Na nariwona kila mtu, Yes, so though we are here, Inga waje tuko hapa, We are here, Tuko hapa, Yes, so when we see ourselves, Tuna kutona sisi wenyewe, Yes, so when we are going to church, Tuna poenda kanisari, When we pray, when we read Bible, when we listen to and obey our parents, we feel like we are good. We feel like we are somewhat good. And that is only according to how I see myself. However, after we left away from the fountain of living waters and came to the side of Satan where there is no fountain of living waters, when the Lord sees us, then the Lord saw everyone who saw Ever repeat after me then the Lord saw then, then the Lord saw then the Lord saw then the Lord saw yes the Lord saw what from us what did he see from us did he find, find anything good did he find anything useful no 
la. But when you see yourself, you find some thoughts una, useful, right? You find some method useful, right? Sometimes so you feel that you are fine and you feel that you are okay. If you believe in that, then it means your heart is different from God. Why? Because when he sees you, he says, you are only evil continually. Is that right? When you see from the Bible, God is this how? Everyone repeat after me. Only. 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 Evil. Evil continually. Continually. Nothing good can come out of us. Why? Because we have already left the fountain. God, He sees this as a sin. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me. But when did I forsake him? I never forsook him. You know, I go to church diligently. I gave you know, tithe all the time. I haven't even stolen even a single shilling from the tithe. What have I done wrong? I am good. I'm fine. I can go to heaven. But that's not what God says. When the Lord sees us, He tells us, Hey, Johanna, you are only evil continually. We cannot get anything good from you. But many times, because we don't believe in the Bible the way it is, we think and believe that we have something good in us. Something right in us. Something justifiable in us. But, let me show you what God he says about your own righteousness as well. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. Let's read it all together. Isaiah, Isaiah, chapter 6, na, six, six 64, verse 6. Na mustari wasita. We will read it all together with one voice and loud voice. Na soma sisi wote pamoja, na sauti moja, ili okubwa kabisa. Ready, go. Tuanze. <laughs> Kwa mana sisi sote, tumekua kama mutali ya mchafu na matendoe tuyote ya haki, ya mekua kama guu ilo tiwa unajisi. Sisi wote tuanyauka kama jani na maovu yetu ya tuondoa kama upepo uondoa avyo. It says, Manikuwa nasema na mnahithi, But we are all like an unclean thing. Kwa mana sisi sote tumekua kama mutu ali ya mchafu. He didn't even say unclean people. Kama hakusema ni wa. He says, Anasema, unclean thing. Kama vitu chafu. We are all like an unclean thing. Not even unclean people. Unclean thing. Kitu kichafu. And then what? Na nini tena? And all our righteousness. Na matendu yetu yote ya haki. Everyone repeat after me. Eh. All our righteousnesses. All our righteousness. All our what? Ma it doesn't say all our sin. It doesn't say all of our evil. But all our Lakini Righteousnesses are like a filthy rag. Everyone, the thought you think it is so right. Your justifiable thought. Your justifiable right heart. All your righteousnesses are only evil. 
imekuwa tu mbovu siku zote. He considered them as a filthy rags. Muungano hisabu zote kuwa nguri otiwa unajisi. If you know that you are Only evil. Then you cannot help but live the life of checking and confirming your thought from the Bible, and then if it is in the Bible, you would receive that thought. Utakuwa unachunguza mawazo yako kuna kwamba ni yako katika Biblia na kama yanatokana na Biblia itabidi yapokee. But because we are trusting in ourselves, lakini kwa sababu tunajiamini sisi wenyewe, we don't check. Hatuchunguzi. We don't confirm. Hatuhakikishi. Everyone repeat after me. Ebi rudieni ni mayangu. I don't check. I don't check. I don't confirm. I don't confirm. Why do you not confirm? Bona huchunguzi na kuhakikisha. Because you think you are fine. Kwa sababu unaona kwamba wewe uko sawa. Because you think you are right. Kwa sababu unafikiria kwamba uko sawa. However, what the Bible is saying is. Lakini sasa yeye Biblia inasema namna gani? It says all. Inasema yote. That's But all, all thought that arises from you, no matter how correct, no matter how justifiable it is, no matter how right you may be, I don't know, but the Bible says, All our righteousnesses are like a filthy rags. Matendo yetu yote ya haki yamekuwa kama nguo iliyotiwa unajisi. What do you do with the filthy rags? Unafanya nini na nguo iliyotiwa unajisi? Do you put them on the table? Je, unaitandika mezani? What do you do? Unaifanyia nini? You throw it. Unaitupa mbali. Just the next to the door. Una iko karibu na mlango. Or in the place where you put the laundry. Ama maana ambapo unaweka nguo za kufua. You don't say Sema, oh my filthy rags. Oh nguo yangu iliyotiwa unajisi. Let me put you in a precious place. Hebu nikuweke mahali pa thamani. You don't put that next to your side dish, right? Hutaweka karibu na sahani yako, sivyo? Is there anyone who cleans the table with the rag? Filthy rags? Kuna yote anasafisha meza na nguo iliyotiwa unajisi? No one, right? Hamna yote yule, sivyo? Maybe some of you are thinking. Labda wengine mnafikiria namna hivi. Sometimes I do. Wakati mwingine nafanya hivyo. You have some mental problem. Unayo shida ya kiakili basi. What do we do with our filthy rags? Unafanya nini na nguo iliyotiwa unajisi? You cannot keep it on the table. Uwezi ukaiweka mezani. What do you do? Unaifanya nini? You throw it away right away. Unatupa mbali mara moja. Everything is that true? Je, wewe ni ukweli kila mtu? Yes, so what is that? You the right that you need to throw away right away. Hiyo nguo iliyotiwa unajisi unastahili kutupa mbali ni gani? Your right thought ya mawazo yako ya ukweli all your righteousnesses hata matendo yako yote ya haki why kwa nini because kwa sababu since adam and eve tangu wakati wa adamu na hawa we belong here tumekuwa watu tu wa upande huu all the righteousnesses that arise from here ya haki yote inaibuka kutokana na upande huu it is all considered as a filthy rag yote yanahesabiwa kama nguo iliyotiwa unajisi right? je ni kweli kila mtu many people are here watu wote wako hapa but they think lakini wanafikiria because they don't know the bible accurately kwa sababu hajui biblia hawajui biblia nzuri wanafikiria namna hivi if i do something diligently then god is going to receive it nikifanya jambo fulani kwa dhati mungu atalipokea but that is not so lakini si hivyo cain kaini he thought that if i go with the best fruit of the ground alidhania kwamba kiende na matunda bora ya ardhi he thought that god is going to receive him alidhania kwa mungu atampokea oh my king oh kaini wangu wow thank you so much for your watermelon asante sana kwa tikiti zako i was craving for watermelon nilikuwa natamani kula tikiti maji thank you so much asante sana do you think god will say that je unaonaje mungu atasema namna hivyo no la do you think god is craving for the watermelon je unaonaje mungu anatamani kula watermelon kweli no la sivyo god cannot receive anything that comes from this side mungu atapokea chochote kile cha kutokana na upande huu There are all kinds of things that comes from this side as a filthy rag. Ngana hesabu kama vyote vya kutoka kwa upande huu ni nguo iliyotiwa unajisi. Even our good and right heart. Hata ule moyo mwema mzuri wetu. Even our diligence. Hata bidi zetu juhudi zetu. Even our effort. Hata bidi zetu wenyewe. God says there are all 
filthy rags. Mungu anasema kwamba hayo yote ni nguo iliyotiwa unajisi. I came to Kenya 8 years ago. Nilikuja hapa Kenya miaka nani iliyopita. I didn't know that I would come to Kenya. Sikujua kwamba nitakuja hapa Kenya. Pastor Parky told me. Tunajipaka kaniambia. Yohana go to Kenya. Yohana aenda Kenya. Yes. Ndio. In 2 days I packed my stuff and then came to Kenya. Na siku mbili nikawa nimeweka mizigo yangu yote pamoja nikaja hapa Kenya. Do you know why I came to Kenya? Je, mnajua ni kwa nini nilikuja Kenya kila mtu? Do you think I came here for business? Je, nilikuja hapa kwa ajili ya biashara kweli? Do you think so? Mnaona hivyo? Do you think I came here to to what else? It's chapati? Kula chapati? No. La sivyo. I came here. Nilikuja hapa. To work for the gospel. Kwa ajili ya kufanya kazi ya injili. So, kwa hivyo, I worked. Nikafanya kazi hard for the gospel. Kwa bidii kwa ajili ya injili. Day and night. Mchana kutu na usiku. I worked hard for the gospel. Nifanya kazi kwa bidii kwa ajili ya injili. Everyone for the work of the gospel. Wapendwa kwa ajili ya kazi ya injili. Do you have to work hard? Je, lazima mfanye kazi kwa bidii? No. La for the gospel. Kwa ajili ya injili. Then what do you have to do? Unasali kufanya namna gani? If you don't work hard for the gospel. Kama utafanya kazi kwa bidii kwa ajili ya injili. Then you have to work hard for your flesh. Lazima mfanye kazi kwa bidii kwa ajili ya mwili wako basi. Or pesa pesa? Kwa ajili ya pesa? You have to work hard for what? Lazima ufanye kazi kwa bidii kwa ajili ya nini? It's good to you know, work hard for the gospel, right? Ni vyema kufanya kazi kwa bidii kwa ajili ya injili, sivyo? That's what I thought. Nilidhani namna hivyo. And then, na I worked so hard. Nikafanya kazi kwa dhati. Because I worked so hard. Sasa so nilifanya kazi kwa dhati in 2 years. Mnamo miaka miwili I was exhausted. Nilikuwa nimechoka kabisa. Physically Kimwili, mentally hata kiakili i was exhausted nilikuwa nimechoka kabisa on the second year mwaka wa pili when pastor park came to visit kenya akaja kutembea nchi ya kenya i told him nikamwambia pastor park mchungaji park i'm exhausted nimechoka i'm so tired nimechoka kabisa everyone why am i tired mbona nimechoka because i did not know how to make God at work. Si kujua jinsi ya kumfanya Mungu nitendee kazi. And I was at work. Ni mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa natenda kazi. If I am not at work, kama sitendi kazi, I won't never get tired. Sitachoka kamwe. Everyone is that right? Je, ni ukweli? Everyone why is a spiritual life tiresome? Mbona maisha yako ya rohoni yanakuchosha? Why is a spiritual life difficult? Mbona maisha yako ya rohoni ni magumu? It means inamaanisha I am the one who is doing it. Mimi ni mimi natenda kazi kama hiyo. I'm not the one who is doing it. Si mimi ambaye it is God who has to tenda, do it. Ni natenda kazi hiyo. But for me, lakini kwangu, spiritual life was tired. Maisha rohoni yalikuwa ya kunichosha. Ministry was tired. Huduma ilikuwa yanichosha. I was getting exhausted. Nilikuwa nachoka kabisa. Why? Kwa nini? Because I didn't know how to live the spiritual life. Sikujua jinsi ya kuishi maisha ya rohoni. When I told him like that, nilipomwambia namna hivyo, Pastor Park gave me an answer. Mchungaji Park alinipatia jibu. Hey Johan. Hey Johana. I never sent you to Kenya to work. Sija kutuma hapa Kenya kuja kufanya kazi. I was so shocked. Nilishtuka kabisa. Press the park. Mtungaji park. I thought you sent me to Kenya to do the work of the gospel. Ndani ya kwamba nilituma hapa Kenya kufanya kazi ya injili. What he said? Lakini anasema hivi. I never sent you to Kenya to do the work. Sija kutuma uja hapa Kenya kwa ajili ya kutenda kazi. I sent you to Kenya. Nilikutuma Kenya. I was thinking. Nikawa nafikiria. What is going to be the next word that he's going to say? Atakwatanisha neno gani hapa? If you did not send me to Kenya to work, then what is it? Kama uja nituma hapa Kenya kufanya kazi, basi nituma kwa nini? He said, alisema hivi, I sent you to Kenya to repent. Nilikutuma uja hapa Kenya ili utubu. I was so shocked. Nilishtuka kabisa. I heard the heart of the master for the first time. Nilisikia moyo wa Bwana mara ya kwanza. Ah, he did not send me to Kenya to do the work. Hakunituma hapa Kenya nifanye kazi. Ah, he sent me to Kenya to repent. Alinituma nije hapa Kenya kwa ajili ya kutubu. When I thought about that, nilipofikira kuhusu mambo hayo, I realized that for last two years I was living the wrong life. Nitambua kwamba kwa miaka miwili yote nilikuwa nimeishi maisha ambayo yamepotoka. From then on, kuanzia wakati huo, Pastor Park he began to train me mtungaji, for the accurate repentance according to the Bible. Mtungaji Park alianza kunifunza toba ya halisi kulingana na Biblia. What is accurate repentance? Hii toba halisi ni gani? Through the Bible. Kupitia Biblia. To realize what kind of a person that we are. Kutambua mimi ni mtu wa aina gani? 
living away from God. Kuwa nimeacha Mungu. Everything that comes out from me is only evil continually. Chote ambacho kinatokana na mimi ni kiovu tu siku zote. Oh God, he cannot receive anything that comes from me. Ha Mungu atapokea chochote kile kinachotokana na mimi mwenyewe. Realizing that. Kutambua mambo hayo. Now I turn around from myself. Na kugeuka kutokana na mimi mwenyewe. I have to turn around this way, right? Lazima nigeuke upande huu sivyo. Because myself is there, sivyo. So, upande wangu ni pale, sivyo. To realize what kind of a person that I am. Kutambua mimi ni mtu wa aina gani. And then to turn around from myself. Na kugeuka kutokana na mimi mwenyewe. Now, number 2. Na jambo la pili. Repentance and toba ni na Huh? Repentance and to turn around the Bible said, right? Ya toba na kugeuka sivyo. Yes, to turn around from what? Kurejea kutokana na nini? From I myself who is there completely. Kurejea kutokana na mimi mwenyewe ambaye aliyekuwa hapo kabisa. To turn around. Kugeuka towards back to the side of where the fountain is. Nigeukie mahali ambapo kuna chemichemi ya maji ya uzima. And to only believe in the word of God. Na kuliamini neno la Mungu tu peke yake. When you turn around from myself, unapogeuka kutokana na we mwenyewe, you cannot help but only believe in the word of God. Budi la tu taliamini neno la Mungu peke yake. Romans chapter 4 verse 5. Warumi 4 mstari wa 5. Let's read it all together. Tusome sisi wote pamoja. Romans chapter 4 verse 5. Ni Warumi 4 mstari ni wa 5. Tusome twanze lakini kwa him ready go twanze lakini kwa mtasifanya kazi bana mwaminie yeye ambaye mhesabia haki kwa mtawa imani yake huyo tu mhesabiwa kuwa haki What is the true righteousness Haki ya ukweli ni gani It says Maniko anasema namna hii His faith is accounted for righteousness Imani yake mtu huyo imehesabiwa kuwa haki Yes faith in what Ya imani katika nini Faith in the fountain of living waters Imani katika chemichemi ya maji ya uzima Turning away from myself Kugeuka kutokana na mimi mwenyewe Faith in only believing in the word of God Na niwe na imani ya kuliamini na Mungu tu peke yake The one who says I have perfectly true forever Neno anasema kwamba nimekamilishwa milele Ah he has already perfected me Ah Mungu amenikamilisha hata milele He has perfected me already Kama ashanikamilisha tayari If he has worked to perfect me already. Kama nitenda kazi ya kunikamilisha tayari. Is there any other work that we need to do? Je, kuna hiyo kazi yote ile nyingine tunastahili kuifanya sisi wenyewe? No. La, if you believe. Kama ukiamini. If you stay on this side. Ukikaa kwa upande huu, then you can live the spiritual life of resting. Basi unaweza kuishi maisha rohoni ya kupumzika. The Bible says. Biblia inasema namna hivi. Faith was accounted unto him for Righteousness. Imani mtu huyo imehesabiwa kuwa ni haki. Never what is a true spiritual life? Wa maisha rohoni ya ukweli ni gani wapendwa? True spiritual life doesn't come from here. Maisha rohoni ya ukweli yatokani na upande huu. True spiritual life comes from here. Maisha rohoni ya ukweli yanatokana na upande huu. For my people have committed two evils. Kwa maana watu wangu wamefanya maovu mawili. They have forsaken me the fountain of living water. Wameniacha mimi chemichemi cha maji ya uzima. And hewn themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Until now, hadi wakati huu, away from the fountain of living water. Tukiwa mbali na chemichemi cha maji ya uzima. We lived working hard. Tuliishi tukifanya kazi kwa dhati. Yes, shun the cisterns, but it is broken cistern that can hold no water. Tukichimba bilika lakini bilika zime zime zinavuja haziwezi kubeba maji. What does that mean? Ina maanisha nini? At this side, kwa upande huu, I am just working hard. Ninafanya tu kazi kwa bidii. I am working diligently. Nafanya kazi kwa dhati. Making a broken cistern. Nikitengeneza bilika ambayo inayovuja. Lakini haiwezi kaja so kamwe. So another place and make another cistern. Ninaenda kwingine kutengeneza bilika nyingine. But it's a broken cistern it cannot hold Lakini water. Lakini bilika ambayo inayovuja haiwezi so kubeba maji. So another place to also shun the water. Ninaenda pengine pia kutengeneza bilika huko. Continuously living the life whereby 
I am at work. It's not that you have to shun the cisterns. You have to let down making the cisterns. Turn away from this side. And then come into this side. Where there is the fountain of living water. Waters. This is called repentance and faith. Everyone, you understand what I mean, right? Turning away from I myself and then entering into the world where there is the fountain of living waters. Where there is the fountain of the living word of God. There is power in the word. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deed. Then God said, let there be light. There was light. It is not I who is at work. It is the word which is at work. Making darkness into light. Because the word is not just the word. Inside the word, there is the power. Everyone say my amen. That's why this repentance and faith is very important. Not only in our salvation, but also in our spiritual life as well. To turn away from my own thoughts and enter into the world of the word of God, whereby the word itself contains the power to change you, lead you, Give you the wisdom. Yesterday I told overseas students. Some of them, because of language problems, they're getting D's, C's, and F's. F. But I told them, hey guys, hey, hey, I'll make you very wise and smart. It's not anything else. You need to learn how to meditate upon the word. You don't have to believe in many words. If you believe in only one word, and also continuously have a habit of meditating and contemplating on the word of God. And if you only receive the word, the word itself has the wisdom and the power. The word will give you the wisdom even to study the word will even give you the wisdom also to study, uh, to uh, learn English and also understand English and our brothers and sisters even do, to do work and also do the business the word has all the power but but in order for us to receive the word, we need to turn away from myself and enter inside of the word. And the word will give me the power. Then the word will work. That's why spiritual life is easy and fun. Everyone receiving salvation, was it easy? Yes, because you didn't do anything. You just came inside the word. That is telling you, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. When you come inside the word, you became righteous. Salvation is easy. But why do you live your life very difficult? Why is your life very difficult? Not because of anything else. Because in terms of soul, uh, spiritual life, you are not 
in the word hauko katika neno if you are in the word ungalikuwa katika neno i'm telling you nawaambieni you don't have to do anything si lazima ufanye kazi yote ile even if you sleep hata kama utakuna lala jesus will work yesu atatenda kazi many people think watu wengi wanafikiria then pastor johan yeah bas johan i don't have to do anything si si, si nisifanye chochote kile yes ndio you rather not do anything than do it afadhali usifanye lolote lile badala ya kujaribu kufanya kazi fulani even you understand what i'm talking about kila mtu anaelewa maana yangu sivyo you rather not do anything afadhali usifanye lolote lile than do it badala ya kujaribu kutenda salvation wokovu what have you done ulifanya nini wewe ndio uokoke you didn't do anything hukufanya lolote lile spiritual life maisha rohoni what do you have to do unastahili kufanya nini nothing hakuna at all chochote kile as long as wakati wote ule you are next to the fountain of living waters uko kwenye kisima cha chemichemi ya maji ya uzima mungu anasema hivi let there be light ya kuwe na nuru and there was light kukawa nuru even is that true jeu ni kweli kila mtu yes god said mungu alisema let there be light kuwe na nuru in that word of god there was all that power to change that darkness into light. It's not that you have to try hard to remove the lustful heart inside of you. It's not that you have to try hard to remove the hatred inside of you. When you return when you repent and turn around from yourself. Enter inside of the word. The word has a power to set you free from lust. The word has a power to set you free neno lina nguvu za kukuweka huru from all hatreds kutokana na chuki yoyote ile the word also has power to give you wisdom neno lina nguvu za kupatia hekima pia to study kujifunza at workplace ya maana ambapo unapofanya kazi and even to do business hata kwa ajili ya kufanya biashara and also to lead the family hata pia kwa kuongoza familia yako but many people lakini watu wengi instead of leading this badala ya kuachana na haya mambo they have left this waliacha haya and then they enter inside of this world wameingia katika huu ulimwengu wa kazi what is this world ulimwengu ni mwengu aina gani the world where I am at work. Ulimwengu maana ambapo mimi mwenyewe natenda kazi. You have to know one thing. Lazima mlijue jambo moja. Because we are only if we continue. Kwa sababu sisi ni waovu tu siku zote. Because the Lord said cursed is the ground. Bwana anasema ati ardhi imeraniwa. Everything that I touch. Chochote kile ambacho nakigusa is only if we continually. Ni kiovu tu siku zote. Let's come back to the book of Genesis Hebu, where we read today. Hebu tuli katika kitabu cha Mwanzo maana ambapo tulipasoma siku ya leo. Genesis chapter 40. Ni mwanzo mlango wa 40. Right now Genesis chapter 40 is talking about butler and the baker. Hapa kitabu cha Mwanzo kuhusu mnyweshaji na mwokaji. Chapter 40 verse 9. Let's read it all together. Mstari wa 9 tusome sisi wote pamoja. Ready go. Tuanze. Then the the chief butler akamwambia Yusufu ndoto yake akamwambia katika ndoto yangu nimeota uko mzabibu mbele yangu Everyone what is vine Mzabibu ni gani kila mtu Everyone what is vine Mzabibu ni nini Jesus right Ni Yesu sivyo What is vine Mzabibu ni nini For the butler ya kwa huyu mnyweshaji for the butler kwa huyu mnyweshaji he says amesema hivi behold natazama in, in my dream a vine was before me katika ndoto yangu nimeota uko mzabibu mbele yangu vine was before me mzabibu ulikuwa mbele yangu jesus was in front of me yesu alikuwa mbele yangu the word was before me that's Neno what neno lilikuwa mbele yangu hii ndio maana yake to butler kwa huyu mnyeshaji he didn't have any anything of himself hakuwa na chochote kile chake yeye mwenyewe alikuwa tu na mzabibu peke yake ana neno tu peke yake those people lakini watu wengine who are putting jesus behind them ambao wanamweka yesu nyuma yao and then they see wanaona they live and judge according to what they see wanaishi na kuhukumu kulingana na vile wanaona wenyewe they speak 
wananena they hear wanasikiliza they judge in their hearts wanahukumu ndani ya mioyo yao but then those people who are actually repented lakini wale ambao wametubu kabisa they said divine the before them wanamweka mzabibu mbele yao so they see through jesus hivyo wanaona kupitia yesu so they see through the word wanaona kupitia neno they hear through jesus wanasikia kupitia yesu they hear through the word wanasikia kupitia neno they judge through jesus wanahukumu kupitia yesu they judge through the word wanahukumu kupitia neno sema hallelujah semeni hallelujah 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 This is true repentance. Until now, hadi wakati huu. You may have lived this life. Umekuwa umeishi maisha haya. Jesus. Eh Yesu. You rest kidogo. Hebu pumzika tu kidogo. Get behind him. Hebu kanyuma yangu. It's completely wrong, right? Umekosea kabisa, sivyo? Ndio. I should get behind this ndio lazima niende nyuma mwenyewe Paul are telling Jesus get behind me tunamwambia Yesu hebu Yesu nenda nyuma yangu Jesus get behind me Yesu nenda nyuma yangu and then you live by what unaishi kwa nini basi what i see kupitia yale unaona what i hear kwa yale unasikiliza what i want to speak kwa yale unanena even you want to you speak according to however you want is need unanena kulingana na vile unataka sivyo Is that right or not? Yoni ukweli au la? If you want to say I am tired, you say I'm tired, right? Sasa kwamba nimechoka, unasema umechoka. If you want to say I don't want to go to church and you say I don't want to go to church, right? Sasa kwamba sitaki kwenda kanisani, hutaenda kanisani sivyo. If you want to say I'm difficult, you just say I am difficult, right? Sasa kwamba kwamba una ugumu, utasema kwamba una ugumu, sivyo. Did you ever consider the word of God in your life? Je, ulishawahi kufikiria kuhusu neno maisha ni mwako? Before you see Kuriana, before you hear kabla hujaona kabla hujasikiliza kabla hujanena where is the word of god neno la mungu liko wapi you put them behind them uko liko nyuma yako that's why the spiritual life is difficult ndio sababu maisha yako ya rohoni yanakuwa magumu what is a true spiritual life with repentance maisha ya rohoni yanaanza kwa toba hey, the vine was before me hey, tazama mzabibu ulikuwa mbele yangu see through pastor wimana unaona kupitia mchungaji wimana na na pastor wimana jesus right si mchungaji wimana yesu sivyo you see through jesus unaona kupitia yesu you hear through jesus unasikia kupitia yesu you judge through jesus unahukumu kupitia yesu you see through the word unaona kupitia neno you hear through the word unasikia kupitia you neno you judge through the word unahukumu kupitia you neno you through the word naamini kupitia neno i'm telling you nawaambieni When that happens wakati mambo hayo yanafanyika you are the greatest people in the whole world sema amen you don't believe so amwamini namna hiyo if you believe ukiamini sema amen sema amen only 60% i'm sorry for the other 40 but samani kwa ajili hao 40 kwamia nifanyeje even you understand what i mean right maana yangu sivyo that's why hii ndio sababu the bowler huyu mnyeshaji he was able to leave aliweza kuishi he regained his position alipata cheo chake tena why kwa nini he was able to gain life alipata uhai tena he only said the word in front of him na maliweka neno mbele yake tu peke yake ask yourself a question hebu jiulize swali mwenyewe am i really the one je mimi ni mtu who are setting the word only the word in front of me amba naweka neno la mungu tu peke yake mbele zake then who are the ones that can set only the word in front of them lakini nani wataweka neno la mungu mbele zao tu peke yake without the word bila neno I cannot help but die. Sina budi la tu nitakufa. The story comes from verse 16. Hiyo hadithi inaonekana kuanzia mstari wa 16. Verse 16. Mstari wa 16. When the chief baker saw that interpretation was good, he said to Joseph, "I also was in my dream and there were three white baskets on my head." Mkuu wakati alipona kwamba hiyo tafsiri ya mema ni ni tafsiri ya mema akamwambia Yusufu mimi kadhalika nilikuwa katika ndoto yangu na tazama He had three white baskets. Alikuwa na nyungo tatu za mikate myeupe. What are those three white baskets? Hiyo mikate hiyo hiyo nyungo tatu ni gani? Jesus. Ni Yesu. The word. Ni neno. 17 
the uppermost basket were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, and the birds ate them out of the baskets on my head. In the uppermost basket were all kinds of baked goods. Butler only went out before went out before the king only with the vine. But the baker went in out before him not only with three white baskets. But he went out before him with three white baskets and adding all kinds of baked goods. What is all kind of baked goods? All kind of my thoughts. We don't go out before God only with the word of God. Yes, sometimes we have those three white baskets. Yes, it's not that we don't have the three white baskets at all. We do have three white baskets. Yes, we do have the word of God. But mixed with all kinds of Baked goods. My thoughts and the word is mixed together. What happened to him? He could not help but be killed. Verse 22. But he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. He was hanged. He was killed. That is the end result of us. When I was listening to this word for the first time, my heart just collapsed before verse 22. Ah, I cannot help but be also hanged like this. Truly the death also came into my heart. For sure I will also die. I will die. When that death accurately came into my heart from my thought the word I was able to draw a clear line in between it. Verse 19. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head. The baker received three days. What does that mean? He was given the grace period of three days for him to turn away from his thoughts. He received three days to repent, to turn away from his thoughts and to go only with three white baskets. But though there was Joseph in that prison for these three days he did not go to Joseph to learn accurately. Joseph told him hey you will die in three days oh really if I don't repent then I will die then what am I supposed to do Joseph Joseph if you're the one who can also interpret my dream in that way then you must also have the wisdom to teach me about this repentance I can't live without this Repentance. Can you teach me? Please. I don't want to die. He received 
a grace of three days to do so. But he thought, hey, how can I only believe in the word? Sometimes I believe in the word and sometimes I just follow my thought. I'm not the one who is doing it like that. Even all church members, they also live like that too. Hey, you'll be alright. It seems to be okay. We also have that heart, isn't it? Is that right or not? Yes, it's a little bit annoying to come to pastor to learn accurately, right? Hey, look, all the people, they also live like that. But then, what the Bible is saying is different. If you follow your thought, the Bible says, you cannot help but die. If you know that accurately, our Nairobi church brothers and sisters, if it is according to the word of God, if the word is right, you are also given three days to accurately turn around and also come only onto the fountain of living waters. But Satan put a thought inside of us. <laughs> okay, I will see you without I or not in three days. If I come next Sunday, I will make fun of you, Pastor. Then I can say anything. Ever you understand what I mean, right? What is the Bible saying? I'll read one verse and finish. Romans. Chapter 8. Verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. What is spiritually minded? Yeah, Only believing in the word of God. What is carnally minded? Everything other than the word of God is all carnally minded. Thirteen. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. What is to live according to the flesh? According to my own thoughts. According to my own judgment. According to my own feeling and emotion. Then, now, but if by the Spirit it says, what is to live by the Spirit? Living by the word of God only. Like how you receive salvation only by the word. I hope all of us can meditate upon this word. And then if you have any questions, you can also come and meet with our pastors. Pastor, I don't understand this very well. Teach me. If you learn, you can also turn around from yourself and able to only believe in the word. But Satan deceives our heart so that we cannot learn. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, truly the butler had only divine before him. Have your grace and your mercy upon our Nairobi church, brothers and sisters, so that they may all 
turn around from themselves and only believe in the word of God. We give all this into your hands. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we are thankful before this word of God that God has made us to listen today. And uh, it's very clear and loud to us that we need to turn around from uh, from where? From ourselves. We'll sing one song together.